Look what David brought me home. He, uh, he brought me, this morning he brought me Chick-fil-A, surprised me with Chick-fil-A, and today, and then this afternoon, he surprised me with a pumpkin spice coffee and a pumpkin donut. He knows me well. No idea what that is. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm at Kid to Kid to get the kids some jackets. I have no idea where that sound is coming from. But um, yeah, it just automatically just got cold all of a sudden in Texas out, out of nowhere. So the kids need jackets. So we're gonna go in and yeah. um, see if I can find we, them we some jackets. We live in Texas. We do live in Texas. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do a little haul. I'm not going to, I mean, buy that I much in there. I got Wendy too in Texas. I can't even leave my eyes open. Oh, yeah, he can't even leave, leave his eyes open. I can't even leave my eyes open. Okay, so, I'm going in. <laughs> Me too. I'm going in too. Okay, so I'm going to do a really quick haul real quick. Um, I found James this jacket. It's a little big on him, but I think he'll um, be able to fit into it. And it was $7.99. Then I got this um, jacket for Hannah. And it has a cute little um, leopard print inside. And it was $9.99. And it was from Children's Place. James is jacket was the brand our way never heard of it but it was the best looking one in there and I also got Hannah a, another one because she has the first one I found was a six to nine month and that's what she wears right now and this other one is a 12 to 18 months so I thought she, well she'll grow into them this one um another one i didn't the other one to grow out of so i thought it was really cute a little pink flower on it and it is gap baby gap and how much was this one i do have my i do have my mask i'll get well i'll get the mask in a little bit this one's 14.99 so that's what i went in there for but of course i always find other things <laughs> I, I shouldn't look around. I was looking around for um, some little leggings for Hannah, but didn't have it in, in her size. And I found these other things. Uh, this was really cute. It is called, it's from Zara Baby Girl. And it has little houses on it. And it was... It might be waiting out to sit. $7.99. And then I got her also, this is Matilda Jane. Need the wipers. Thank you, James. It's drizzling outside and he tells me I need wipers on. The car's not going yet. And it is $7.99 also. Oh, I haven't even showed it to you yet. It's a cute little dress. I think these were on the end aisle because they're considered um, designer. <laughs> and then I saw these at a different store. Or it'd be like Christmas Magic, something similar to these. Uh, next things I'm going to show you, and they were always really pricey. Christmas Magic's a little boutique thing that goes on usually during Christmas. They canceled it this year, but um, it uh, they're cute little pants, little kind of bell bottom ish, bell bottom ish, and it's eight ninety nine, and is the brand. Hold on, baby. Well, it doesn't have the brand in here. Anyway, and then I couldn't pass up these little shorts. Oops. And they were 
I just thought they were cute little frill at the bottom. And then for James, they didn't really have um, designer things for boys in there. And then I didn't really, really go through the racks. I didn't go through the racks for these, uh, the Hannah's. So, sorry, James. <laughs> I don't think he cares that much, but I got, I did get him this little Paw Patrol hat. Are you okay? Oh, you did, you, did you want more clothes? No. I didn't I think so. I want steering wheel. Oh, he wanted a steering wheel, and I told him I could find him. It was an old steering wheel that looked like it's been very well played with by another child, and I told him I could find him another one, so... I'll find you another one, James. I promise. But I got him a little hat, and it was a dollar ninety-nine. So in all, let's see. Where did I do the receipt? Okay, so it ended up all being seventy-four sixty-two, which at a kid's to kid like consignment store it might be considered a lot but that's getting three jackets and a lot of designer things so I think I did pretty good but there's one more thing I wanted to tell you before I got off here something not to tell your husband before he turns 29 mm. or before he turns 30 don't tell this before your husband before he turns 30 what is wrong mm. you really wanted that steering wheel I know James I'll find you one, a new one, okay? Okay. Okay. Anyway, so never, okay, someone told me this, my mom actually said, once you hit 30, it's all down here from there. Your body just starts breaking down. <laughs> well, I told this to David, and when he was like 29, James, stop, what are you doing? Stop. Let's do this so you can't see him <laughs> Anyway, and as soon as he turned 30, or right before he turned 30, he had hernia. Uh, he got a hernia. So he had a hernia surgery. And then he had to go get that fixed because there was something wrong with it. And then after that, he started having back problems. So he had a bunch of epidural um, injection, like... Um, Yes, steroid injections. He's had a lot of where they go in and like cut the nerve. And then he's had um, where they went into his back of his neck and like opened up the spine part. What they call the vertebrae. I can't remember what that's called. And then he's had an, another surgery that he just had a neck fusion. <laughs> And let's see what else. Oh, and then um, today he went to his oncologist because he had kidney cancer not very long ago, or I guess about two years ago now. He had kidney cancer, so he went to get um, tested for um, just check up on that. And so hopefully everything is well going well there. Now he just, I mean, we don't have any worries about it right now, but he just want to get checked out since for James and Hannah. So. so. Yeah, I just I was just thinking about today that today when he was at his oncology appointment and his physical therapy for his neck, and I was and he always says, oh, ever since Megan told me that I that I did you start deteriorating pretty much when you turned thirty. Stop, James. Stop. Then I then you start. Uh, Ever since she started saying that, I have have all these problems. So that's just a tip from me to you to never tell your husband before he's thirty that he's gonna just is gonna go downhill from there because it actually um, kind of did for me too. My I had some knee problems once I hit thirty; they're gone now for some reason. But yeah, I definitely you can definitely start feeling yourself age once you hit thirty. But that all happened, but on what I said with David within like four years, I guess, so three to four years. Okay, this little boy is unhappy, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go home. My steering wheel. Yeah, <laughs> guess you spoiled and got. <sighs> he was upset, and we went home, and 
started talking to daddy about it and I was just we looked online and there was one that was a little bit more than this one but it was gonna take like a month to get in he's spoiled <laughs> used to know it don't put it on your face I need to go home and wash it don't wash don't put it on your face put it down anyway I want to buy what to buy you can drive it, just don't put it on your face. I'm going to turn him into a, <laughs> a little boy who expects that he can get anything. Aren't to James? Look my hair. Hello. You are, your reason why you got this is because you've been doing well potty training. Right? So, he almost has his full second sheet of stickers. So, I told him this will be his prize for that. He was okay with it. Alright, let's go home. It's cold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't, what's the other? Country mama. I don't know if that's country mama. <laughs> you don't have to be so close to your face. Yeah. Put it right here. If you rack, it's going to come out and the fence go boom. <laughs> Uh, I go forward again. Yeah. Turn some lip chains on. I got my baby. Get my way. Mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> so I told the story about how I told you not to, or one. I told you I'm, I'm when you were 29 that you started falling apart once you're 30. I'm, I'm huh? You told what story? About when I told you that when you turned 30, you. Oh, oh you want me to tell the no, story? No, I told the story and then um. I started explaining about everything oh, that's happened to you since way. then. It's her fault. I met her, my life went downhill. That's not nice. <laughs> I can't drive like no, this. My life is. I can't it's that quote, it's the best of times, it's the worst of times. Because I got my wife, my two kids, and, you know, two neck surgeries, cancer, 12 times under anesthesia, multiple injections, four PTs. You know, just dumped the man. Probably a little more in later. We'll see what next year brings. That's how I live my day right now. I said 2020 <laughs> was going to be a good year. Yeah, look what happened, she cursed me. We had COVID, another neck surgery. Yeah, but we got this beautiful thing. True, that's the best part of 2020. Right there. That little sweet face. It's, it's like the best of times. It's the best of times. Sorry, the lighting's probably really, really bad. Yeah. I can't drive you like this. Why not? Hit the brakes. Here, Why can't you drive it? Why can't you? Do you need a pillow? Well, what do you want, buddy? Why can't you drive it? You're going. Wait, you just ran a stop sign. Boom! Let's see, maybe see your driver's in registration, please. Oh, she knows how to push it. Get out, say, get out of the way. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I am playing. I just want to put the bed and you just get out. Pull back. James, we share in this house. I'm going to just um, g give Hannah a bath and then I'm going to warm up some leftovers. My soup that I made yesterday. If you missed that one, go and watch the video. And then I'm going to take a shower. Then I'll probably edit some videos. No, Mama takes showers. And then I'll probably go to bed. And that's all, y'all, you don't need to see all that, so. <laughs> all right, I will see y'all again tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of my videos. All right, until next time. Say bye-bye, James. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Hannah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Hannah. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye.
拜拜。